Good morning, my beautiful followers. Good morning. Hope everybody is starting their day off on a beautiful foot. I know lots of people, because they are not having to stick to their normal schedules, I know lots of people are sleeping in and just taking advantage of, of this time to, to get a little extra rest and relaxation. But I hope your morning has started out beautifully. I know I took, I slept a little bit later, not a ton later, but just a little bit later than I usually sleep. It's been so rainy out and just like meh that I, I've just given my body that little extra bit of sleep so I can boost my immune system, keep that immune system rocking hard. But uh, I woke up this morning and I was making my coffee and and I did something playful. It was something like kind of funny and I laughed at myself. I'm like, what are you doing, Addison? I'm like, that's kind of silly. Like, you had just had a silly moment. And I, I moved on. And then <clears throat> I then this, uh, then Kendall, my, my, my friend, she sent me this, this uh, video of Billy Elish playing, um, playing the vibrator, basically playing the vibrator. And I, I like burst into laughter. I was like, that is, that is funny. That is funny. That is so light. That is so playful. That is so, it is so something that I was not expecting to wake up to see because in these, these heavy, dark times, we expect to like, like really be seeing all this heavy stuff when we wake up. But I saw that and I laughed. I laughed and I hadn't even opened my phone yet. And that was like the first thing I saw and I didn't even open anything else. I was like, that's funny. That is funny. And I was laughing because it actually reminded me of a time in Punta Cana when I was like, I had a dildo incident. It was, it was an incident I'm not going to go on into right now, but it was hilarious and it just kind of, it was funny. And I was like, I could play the drums and like, no, we could do like, we could do like a, 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 a dildo vibrator, a sex toy jam, sex toy jam jams and then we got to then I came outside and the sun is finally out I'm like thank you thank you god the sun is out and the sky is blue and my cat is running around the backyard like playfully dancing around and like chasing stuff and the day I was like the day just feels good the day just feels good it has hardly even started for me but the day just feels good. And I don't want to turn on the news. I don't want to find out right this second what's going on. Because it will wait. It will wait. The day already feels playful to me. And I'm like, I'm going with this energy. And funnily enough, last night, yesterday, not last night, yesterday I was working on, on an online course that I'm doing for my own personal growth work because if, I'm do, if I am coaching, I am also doing my own personal growth work. It is a very like hard line for me. Like I'm not if I'm not doing my my own growth work, then I can't be coaching. I can't be coaching. And so I was doing my own growth work and the topic we I was writing about was play. One of the topics that that we were talking about was play and this is something I like newsflash Addison has struggled with. No, I struggle with play. I have for my whole life, I did not grow up a playful child. I I really wasn't allowed to play as a kid. That was like not a thing in my world. Um, I was very into puzzles and like seriousness and books, but I was not really allowed to run and play and dance and laugh. Like laughter was just noisy in my 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 house, and so I didn't grow up playing. Playfulness was was even though it was in me because I think play. Play is in all children. It, I didn't really grow up with it. it. Wasn't it's not my strength, and it still is not my strength. It's not my strength. It has gotten to be more and more my strength. And I'm looking at these times right now, where we're, a lot of us are stuck in our houses. I know I'm about to get get today. Um, my local news is supposed to announce some re more restrictions for where I live. But in these times, I think there's this darkness. Yesterday, I was do as I was doing this work, and I was talking even with some clients, and I was going, "You just need to go do something fun and playful, and that makes you laugh, or makes you just feel good." And a lot of people looked at me and went, "What's 
play? Are you talking about bedroom play? And I'm like, yes and no. Yes and no. Yes, I am talking about bedroom play. Yes, I'm talking about like, if you do have a partner or you don't have a partner, maybe getting a little playful and sensual and just playful in your terms. This doesn't mean you have to go and get kinky. Now, if you want to, go, go for it, go for it, that's great. But it just means laughing. It means taking some lightness out, taking some seriousness out. I can tell you my sex and relationship clients, that's usually one of, when they're struggling in the bedroom, that is usually one of the things I tell them to go do. Just be playful in the bedroom. Take the seriousness out of it because you're so serious that you're getting it all wrong and your presence isn't there and you're not enjoying it. It's not fun. Yeah, you might have that moment, but the whole rest of it is so serious that you've taken out the play, you've taken out the laughter, you've taken out, because guess what guys? Funny things happen in sex. Funny shit happens in sex. Like it does, it does. We laugh, like like bodily fluids go, go, go everywhere. You're, you know, funny noises happen. When we were teenagers, when we were kids, we could laugh at that kind of stuff. Like if we farted, like we could laugh at it. Now we're like, inappropriate. No, laugh at it and be playful in the bedroom and find something in the bedroom even or with your, and when I say bedroom, I mean even with your self masturbation that you can be playful with something that's a little bit different than the, your norm, your norm. But when I say being playful, I mean just playing, playing. I sat here, the sun hitting me and I'm like, oh, it's a playful day. I had all these thoughts come in my head. I was making my coffee and like, I had a stupid jingle from like when I was in the 90s, like when I was growing up and um, it was late or late 80s, early 90s and I remember like Dunkin' Donuts, it used, they used to be like, time to make the coffee in their, in their little commercials and people who didn't grow up around Dunkin' Donuts would not understand that, but it used to be, be their, their slogan, it's like time to make the coffee or bake the donuts, it was time to make the donuts, but I was like time to make the coffee this morning. Um, but it was just these little playful moments that, that we allow ourselves and tapping into that play. And in order to tap into that playful energy, whether this be your relationship, because relationships will die if there's no play between them. Relationships die if it is all serious, if there is no lightness, if there's no laughter, if there is no silliness. And when I'm talking about relationships, I'm talking about all your relationships. I'm talking about the relationship with your kid, I'm talking about the relationships with your 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 intimate partners I'm talking about the relationships with your your besties or your not besties relationships die when there is no laughter no play when everything is super serious and it's hard to maintain true connection true connection in truth so funnily enough um i brene brown i love brene brown she is um She's a writer, storyteller, researcher. She's got like a million titles. And if you don't know who Brene Brown is, I'm going to suggest you go and find out. You just have to do a quick Google search or a YouTube search. I suggest YouTube because she's got some great videos. And one of the things she found is that play is essential for our self-esteem. Play is essential for our growth and our expansion and our shame. In order to get through shame, you have to have play in your life. You have to be able, I think, I think my neighbor's car is going to die, is dying while it's pulling out of his driveway. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but you have to have play in your life. Play makes life worth living. It brings the lightness. It brings the joy. It brings some of the reason that we're around. We want to have lightness. We want to have laughter. If you are in a state of love, then you also, playfulness is right up there in that vibration. Playfulness is right up in that vibration. And so, it, it play is important. And I know that adults were not taught to play. And part of that is because we're supposed to be serious. and we're, But what ends up happening is we're not present. And we're not present for these playful moments. We don't take these moments to go, I'm going to lean in here. We get into our egos and we go, what is he, she going to think about it? us? What are we going to think about us? My hair is going crazy. What are we going to think about us too? 
because a lot of times we stop our own play. It has nothing to do with other people. Sometimes it is that we're, we think we're stupid if we do that. We judge ourselves. There is judgment when it comes to play. We have play right here and judgment is pushing right up against that play. Pushing, 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 pushing right up against the, the play. And we have to work through that judgment because we're not going to truly get the things we desire in our life because I don't know anybody who doesn't desire to have a happy and loving and and positive vibe filled life I don't know anybody in my world at least that doesn't want to have that desire in their world to have that and so we have to bring play back so we have to bring play into our sex, otherwise our sex will die eventually. It will, it will wither. It will wither, it will become boring, it will become eh. And it, when sex get, becomes eh, guess what? We kill our neurotransmitters, we kill all the chemicals that feed us. And when we kill those neurotransmitters, we go. So th different, I'm not gonna go into to this topic, but different things happen for men when they're not receiving sex than women. But women become bitchy, weight gain, there's lots of things. Men, men, a lot of times, you guys have a similar response, but you take it out in a different way. We need, we need sex, we need playful sex. We need playful sex. We need sex where we feel, feel open and allowed to just be us. And that's what play does. Play allows us to just be us. Same thing goes in relationships and in our life. If everything is so serious, then there's no joy. There's no happiness. But to get to that life, we have to get over ourselves. We have to get over ourselves. And what do I mean by that? That it really is that. We have to go, yeah, I'm going to get on the floor and play, play with some Legos. If that's how it starts. If that's how it's got to start, you might have to go back to when you were a kid and do the things that you did when you were a kid. You might have to to play a board game, do a puzzle, you know, laugh at yourself and catch yourself when you go, when you're stopping your play, when you're restricting your play over the next few days. I want you to pay attention. It could be just a funny joke. It could be sending somebody a meme. When you restrict your play, I want you to take note and go, why did I just restrict that? Now, sometimes if we're at a funeral and all of a sudden we have like a joke pop in our head, that might not be the best time to do that. But in general, most of the time we're restricting ourselves from play and playfulness because we're judging self or we're afraid others are going to judge us, all ego stuff. And so we have to get over our own egos and to really step into play again. So the first step sometimes is just doing things that you did when you were a kid, looking at what you enjoyed when you were a child and going, what essence of that can I bring in now? So like if you liked Legos and you're like, I don't want to get on the floor and play Legos though, Addison, like that's just not doing it for me. Maybe there's something you can go do that is playful because you get to build and you get to create, you know, just stepping back into that energy and then thinking outside the box, thinking outside the box uh, and paying attention to children. I know many, many people are stuck in the house with their kids right now and I'm sure their kids are driving them nuts. Instead of allowing their children to drive them nuts, I'm hearing this over and over again from my, my clients with children. Instead of drive, letting them drive you nuts, take some time and really use them as your educators. Use them as your educators because they are the experts at play. They are the complete experts at play. You know, play is the, when I was, so when I was back in, my undergrad, like early undergrad, I was an early childhood education minor, and because I was going to be a, I had other ideas for my career, <laughs> um, and they used to say play is the work of children, and I disagree because I think play is the work of us all, play is the work of us all, play is how we all learn, play is how we all grow play is how we all expand we've just as adults gone no 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 like this is how we work no play is play is how we work play is how we learn and expand and so let your children be your experts here let them show you how to play let them show you how to giggle 
So as a, as a single woman, as somebody who doesn't have children, I love going to see my, my friends with children and my nieces and my nephews because I get a lesson in play every time because I started this saying, I suck at play. I'm not, I don't, I wouldn't even say I suck at play anymore, but I used to really suck at play. And I have my moments where I really suck at play because I will get back into my serious mode and it is something that I am always working on. Playfulness is something I'm always working on when it comes to my life because I know it's so important. I know it can be the key to our abundance because once we open up that energy, the the universe just wants to rain down blessings upon us because we're in this high vibe energy. We're in this fun, free flowing energy. So go use your children as experts or your nieces or nephews or just get over your own ego and go do something that you can laugh at yourself at. Even if it is as simple as just watching a comedy show and allowing yourself to laugh. Laugh, that is a, a, a baby step. It's a baby step. We'll take baby steps right now. But especially in these hard times when we, we're, we've, we're stuck in our houses and we're seeing restrictions put on us and many are, are fearful of death or, or neighbors or children or family, we need to get playful. We need to get a little bit playful. I see people complaining about the memes that are going on with COVID-19 and actually I'm like, no, let them, let them, let them laugh, let them laugh. We don't want to make light of people dying. That's not, I, I'm not cool with that, but we have to make light of certain things. We have to raise this vibration if we're all going to get through this together. And that's playfulness. That's playfulness, finding something that's playful. And if you're feeling very unplayful, trying to look at your world and going, okay, where am I pulling play out of my life? Where am I sucking the energy of play out of my life? And where can I bring it in? I'm getting present because I can tell you this morning, I would not have noticed the playfulness of the day, the playful energy of the day, if I just hadn't uh, slowed down. I could have looked at the, the, the video I got from my friend and been like, huh, that's cute, and moved on. I could have not even, even gotten playful with my coffee. I couldn't have sat out here for, for, I sat here for like a good 30 minutes just enjoying the sun and the, and the energy before I popped on here. And that is a presence level. That is a presence level with our playfulness. So go get playful. Sex, relationship, your life. It's all about play. So, all right, guys. I love you. Um, on a side note, I was thinking yesterday, because I see a lot of people really struggling. I see a lot, a lot of people really struggling right now. And it, it does. It hurts my heart. I, and I know that from working in mental health that this, this isolation is not good for a lot of people. This I, isolation is going to be really negative. And usually uh, I hold my coaching sessions, at, my one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, um, as something that, that is a little bit more expensive in my world. Because um, you're working one-on-one -on -one with me and I'm giving you access to myself all day long, every day. You really do have um, the VIP kind of feel. So I started thinking, and I really want to help people right now, and I see a lot of people struggling, and so I put together um, my isolation expansion coaching, my fast track isolation expansion coaching program. And this is just for the next month. I'm offering one-on-one -on -one 30 minute sessions for $77 for two sessions. You get to talk with me. We get to focus in on one topic. These are limited, one topic. If you wanna do other coaching, then we can talk about that as well, where we dive deeper. But this is to really help us just get motivated, get a focus point, and really fast track into something while we're isolated, while we're in this, this social distancing. These are done by video or phone. And so if you are interested in one of those coaching set in those coaching sessions, um, you have to sign up within the next few weeks. Otherwise they are gone. They are gone and you will never see this price again. I can promise you, you will never see this price again for my coaching. So it just came through and I was like, I want to, I do. This is my, my way of helping. This is my way of helping. And so you can go on my website at addisonbell.net and you can, uh, you can register to do this. Get, get registered, get moving, get playful, and have an amazing rest of your day. All right, guys, I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow for another Addison Unleashed.